What is going on? I'm Zedmod. Gonna show you two different tech trees. We're gonna start out by saying I have got the greatest of all tools. We can get some drawings here, trying to get our troops into the right sort of spots. First of all, make sure you go down there onto the shop. Get yourself in there. Throw creator code Zedmod in there. More details on that later on. This is is tech tree number one now there were a couple of very very difficult choices here so once you get to the end of the tech tree here you have the choice of being this bare naked five engine room base trying to save for that sixth engine room as people are starting to get things like seekers and critters or you can go back and get flamethrowers i chose to skip flamethrowers i know they're going to be super helpful down the road but instead i went back and got green mines and sniper towers and shocks i figured getting shock launchers will help against those heavy choppers later in the season they'll also talk help against seekers right about now in the season um, and more importantly we get some sniper towers and some green mines and shocks shocks suddenly as soon as I got some shocks, started to win. My times got much better. 3 minutes, 310, 251. I mean, generally, once I get used to using shocks, we're going to be above 3 minutes. So I can say that I like the idea of going back for shock launchers. Yes, there are about 100 keys to get there if you don't have green mines and useless medics and sniper towers. Sniper towers against rocket choppers are helping a little teeny tiny bit, but on the offensive side, having shock bombs is such a relief. It is so much nicer. Yes, you can time your critters and throw your artillery and try and get bullet in the right spot, but shocks just drastically simplify things. My attacks have been decent but i gotta say that node right there just to get the toa straighter rocking and rolling look at that it's even almost the same color as the shocks that has been a massive massive boon for my attacks so that is tech tree number one Tech tree number two looks like this. It is still a bare, bare naked base. But as you can see here, starting to get some wins over here, starting to get some fairly quick wins. And that is because we have got my old friends, the Seekers. Now, most of my wins with Seekers were with tick three Seekers because I just did not have enough tokens, as you can see up there. Just super, super I guess I can say up there, you can see that I am super, super light on tokens, just fully overdoing it at this point. Uh, when I said I was going to talk about the creator code, if you check down here in my shop, you'll notice that I just renewed my instant training and my creator boost was in fact expired and I forgot to renew my own creator boost. So I know that happens. That's why I try and harp on you guys to throw his code Zedmod in your shop. Because even Code Zedmot forgets to put his own name back in that shop. And why it expires after seven days, uh, your guess is as good as mine. I know why it expires, because it costs them some pennies. But uh, I just wish it would not expire quite, quite so often. So we're going to do some live Seeker hits. There are lots and lots of mistakes to be made with Seekers. I will definitely make a whole bunch of those, because I haven't done a Seeker attack in quite a while. But hopefully we can learn these things together. I'm going to continue to use that nice cyan color uh, if we can get a match. And I'll show you the, some simple, simple mistakes. Uh, for example, if we drop our Seekers up this path right here, what's going to happen next is they're going to go all the way back. I guess I probably should use a different color for that, but you get the basic idea that you need to be careful. Because what happens is the first couple times you start to drop critters, you're like, oh, they're going to go over here, and then I can go like this, and then I can barrage that. That's not how it's going to go. You're going to be crying because they're going to go left. So definitely 1,000% need to be a little bit careful. And so that's why we're just going to send Bullet off on a bit of a jaunt. One, two, one, two, three, I believe it is, somewhere in that neighborhood. Just getting something somewhat close, dropping some bombs. I don't know why I just threw that um, bullet right there. Um, but as you can see here, we're going to get bullet over into there. We're going to drop some critters into here. Wish that I had shocks at the moment. Just having shocks would make this a far, far, far better hit. But we should be doing all right. Not super duper fantastic, but our critters should be able to get in and amongst using that uh, taunt right there. 
was really hoping to get some critters to get that final shock mine, but as you can see here, Bullet and the gang, we're going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 3 minutes 9 seconds. And that is my number one first tip to you, is if you're thinking of going Seekers, A, just be aware they're not going to last forever, they're not going to get you into Diamond even, probably especially if you don't have them quite yet, uh, because there's a lot of bases that have shock launchers. Oh, look at that, new rank, us progressing as a team. Thank you, all of you out there for giving me that lift up. Yeah, it's let's just take it, it's all good. Because um, so, there's a whole bunch of bases that have shock launchers and rocket launchers as you get a little bit higher. So in this instance, um, they everyone has building health as well. You'll see over in here, like absolutely everyone has that building health. So not a big concern there. But if we can get our seekers to come along here into here, we could have a very, very good time. I'm just not sure of the distance between here and here and here and here. So I am just overly cautious and we're going to drop bullet ever so ever so ever so slowly then we'll do some barraging then we'll throw bullet just somewhere in the middle and then and finally finally then we will bring out the seekers like you really 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 don't have to rush anytime i've rushed i have done less good than when i have actually planned these things so i'm just gonna keep on sending bullet over into this kind of neighborhood that shock blaster is somewhat distracted by the critters that are on top of it and then we can just drop all of this stuff in our seekers then should do a nice little clean split just like that and then boom shakalak just like that we're gonna get about three minutes and 16 seconds so fast 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 do i recommend seekers if you're just trying to get a quick boost. Oh, Eris Pro, I know Eris. Big shout out there. Barely sneaking out the win. That, I want to see that time. 313, that's pretty quick. Um, I was not rushing. I probably should have. That's a very, very fast time with Rocket Choppas. So well done. Um, bringing in Bombardiers on that left-hand side. I love that strategy. I have not used that strategy in a long, long time. But that is a great way to do it. And we just got a huge win there so um i hate I, like, I feel bad when i see someone throw an attack that good and we win but at the same time it is a competition so i don't feel too too bad um now where am i gonna go next that is something i haven't thought of yet um this tech tree i have no idea what's next probably troop damage would be a good call because troop damage is always good especially because we're going all offense um the other option of course troop health back there troop health with seekers would probably do great for them but i actually guess i could do both i'm gonna do nothing for right now and that is my standard in warships when you're if you can win more than you're losing just don't spend the tokens it's i mean it's i don't play as much as many many people or people that are like over a thousand battles this season already because the battles are just so darn quick um that is not me though i tend to just get some battles get those chests and if i'm just keep winning then i'll play a couple extra but generally speaking man just spinning and spinning and spinning sorry i had to get one more tell a straighter type detail in there now I'm, there's people have two shock blasters two shock blasters aren't all that scary at times um they've got 100 percent health so that's again something we need to be aware of gonna drop bullets slightly to the left this time gonna send him somewhere in that general neighborhood and then critters getting all of our seekers out and then one two three i think i used one too many barrages there in my haste to do silly ridiculous ridiculous things but not quite there yet just a reminder you do need to keep all of your seekers i mean your flares moving i should say shock blaster not doing a heck of a lot against our friends the seekers but you do need to be a little bit cautious because they do a little bit more damage than you would expect them to but look at this we got seekers spreading out left right and center should be a okay i don't even know where a bullet is but we're gonna throw some artilleries and some barrages this way 313 again just picking up wins left right and center and uh, this account was struggling at around 17 i couldn't i don't think i got as far no i definitely didn't get as far as 18 because you watched me get to 18 for the first time but um, this tech tree i guess i haven't shown you 
bullet rank three, no green mines yet again. Um, I was my only attacking troop was warriors. So warriors, I just found that I couldn't get into 18 with warriors, partially because my base just wasn't fast enough. So could I have gone rocket choppers? Yes, but I just wanted to have a different tech tree. And that's why my other one doesn't have seekers. This one does. My other one has max critters. I probably should be maxing my critters, but again, like I said, we're winning, so I'm not going to spend anything right now. Um, if you have suggestions on where I should go next, please do hit me up in the comments. Would love to hear your thoughts. I don't think Sparky, Sparky might be the answer for other troops, uh, but for me, using Seekers, Kavon is not the answer. Sparky is not the answer. Bullet doing all of the good things. Another note, don't get heavies. I can't say this enough. People... You don't need heavies unless you're going to go get heavy choppers, at which point you can get them way, way later on. People at this time are going to be rushing towards boom cannons. That's going to be making a big, big difference. And then rocket launchers. Where the heck are rocket launchers? Rocket launchers, not quite there yet, but somewhere in one of these choice nodes right there, you're going to get that fifth rocket launcher, which is going to make the difference. So things to be aware of, things to keep in the back of your mind. Speaking of the back of the mind, we've got the win streak. Uh, likely going to break it i don't i don't do well in boss battles or with win streaks when recording so now this one see they've moved this engine room over so getting a lot more compact that's going to be make things a little bit scarier uh but i think we should be able to do oh see like look at all of those mines they've got so many mines in that back area that this is going to be a very very good test for our seekers um, need to plan bullet a little bit need to get him into a decent position i think i'm going to send him right about there trying to get him so that he is going to be in the neighborhood of those flamethrowers and those um machine guns and i was really 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 hoping that bullet was going to walk on that far far left hand side so instead we are going to get rid of you mr flamethrower trying to get bullet into a decent spot and now i am doing more talking than i should be right now wishing that i had a little bit more planning on this this is going to be a very very like bullet is not anywhere that we want him to be there are all sorts of mines in all sorts of places i am not going to leave you guys on a failure but i think this is going to be a failure i would give this like a 90 percent chance of failure simply because all of this person's flamethrowers are in amazing spots like just absolutely crushing our hopes and dreams and you can't use medkits on your seekers so don't even try big fat hill w13 showing you how to defend against seekers so that was my entire purpose of this video was to show you seekers from all angles showing you how to win with them also showing you how to defend against them so this base 1000 percent set up that's the, that's my base that is not my base that is not set up for anything we're going to show their base so i can quickly pause look how many flamethrowers and mines they have on that far right hand side they know you are going to come in here you're going to come into this mess and then you're just going to be crying in pain because flamethrower 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 like there is just so much goodness on that far right hand side so um probably could have crushed it with rocket choppers but we don't have rocket choppers stuck on the ground let's do one more battle hoping to leave on a win i was gonna say win streak a win streak of one i guess you would call that so um this season I'm on the fence there's all sorts of times where i'm just like absolutely stuck for things to use and things to do another base just like the last one so need to be far far more skilled with seekers than i am so far um, this person's base is not going to be able to stop bullet though which is kind of nice they are going to let bullet get up close and personal and then i just need to figure out what the heck to do about all of these mines so bullet getting up and in close against all of that flamethrower i'm going to throw one taunt right about now getting the flamethrower, getting the machine gun, and then sending bullet over into there, trying to get rid of some things, trying to keep all of this stuff distracted. That flamethrower, Gonzo, I missed a shock mine clearly in all of that confusion, 
trying to get all of this stuff down now. Need another taunt. I don't think we're going to get one, unfortunately. Um, again, this is just one of those times where it is just so much stuff happening all at one time. And now just hoping that we're going to get all of this damage done at the last possible buzzer. It's going to be so darn close, and we did not get it. So... Seekers, they are incredibly fun, they are incredibly dangerous, but man, can you fail. And that is why on the other tech tree, like I mentioned, you either go back and get shock launchers, which is about 100 keys, or you go get flamethrowers. Flamethrowers are a fantastic way to stop Seekers, but of course those flamethrowers against bombardiers or rocket choppers, fairly useless, um, but they are going to also do a little bit of damage to bullet. So Seekers, awesome. I'm glad you guys could be here with me to jump up into 18. Got to see a great rocket chopper attack from Eris Pro. Um, also, just generally, Seeker's probably not going to be your best option, but I just could not pass up the opportunity to go get them. Now, again, if I had that troop damage, we probably would have won. We definitely would have won that last one. The one before that, not entirely sure. So, now that we've lost two, troop damage definitely calling my name. Troop health, in it'll it, it's it'll it'll probably be second. Anyways, that is all for me. Do consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to see where the heck my tech trees go next. I shall talk to you soon. Let me know what you thought about this beautiful, beautiful telestrator. Um, anyways, that is all for me. I'm Zedmont. Peace.